everything I can, but I can't shake her! Galvin's targeting our engines on purpose to cripple us, not destroy us. If we lose the engines, we can't avoid the bioforming ray. Brace for impact! Put them through. Sorry to keep you waiting, Resolute. We got here as fast as we could. Looks like you've got your hands full with this monster. We're damn glad to see you, Captain. We could use all the help we can get. I told you I'd be here. So, what are we up against? Careful! That bioforming ray's coming! We have to warn them. Open a channel to all Starfleet ships immediately. Starting emergency transmission. This is Captain Jara Rydek of the USS Resolute. The ship we're fighting is armed with a bioforming ray that can transform your entire crew instantaneously. Avoid being hit at all costs! And remember, they have our shield algorithms, so take preemptive evasive action. You know what happens next. The Aphelion will turn them one by one until we're outnumbered. As much as I don't like it, we have to attack that ship before they start attacking us. They could all be to come. Or none of them. We can't assume anything yet. I can't attack another Federation ship. I need alternatives. Full impulse power. Take us in for a closer look. Aye, Captain. It's not a Starfleet ship. The Takan have it. Shields at full power! At least our shields are doing something against them. How long they'll hold is another question. Fire phasers! Firing. Shields at 60%. Heavy damage reported in astrometrics. Hit him with everything we've got! Hi, Captain. Taking heavy fire. Shields now at 40%. Stay with it! Keep firing! Their weapon systems are offline. There's nothing we can do for them. Let's destroy the ship and be done with it. Our focus needs to be the Aphelion. They wouldn't hesitate if they had the upper hand. Finish it. Take out their engines. Fire when ready. Targeting their engines. Commencing fire. Now. any one of us to take on alone. But collectively, we might just have a shot. On our way. Full impulse power. Aye, Captain. Target the bioforming ray. Fire photon torpedoes. Firing photon torpedoes.
lost helm control. Trying to reestablish. Weapons and defensive systems are down too. Engine output remains consistent, but it's not reaching its destination. This is what happened to the Enterprise. They're draining our energy. We're caught in it too. We need our help on the inside to pull through. There's a way to disable the Aphelion, it's there. We strike at the heart. Turn off this energy field to enter. I must do it. It requires the hands of a Takon. Is it working? It started. Is the opening wide enough to get through? Well, is it wide enough? No, but I can see the cartabula. What about now? Still not wide enough. I will try again. Join us. Just step aside, Guardian, and we will handle them. These pests will become the vessels for our glory. You won't stand in the way of our rebirth. The Scions of the Flame will rise, and you will be a part of it. You're gonna have to do better than that to turn Portal. He's one of us now.
you both, easily. But the part of me that is still Miranda won't let me. She compels me to bring you into the fold. I will make you one of us. Miranda wouldn't want that. You don't know her like I do. Join the flame. Are you all right? Carter, I'm sorry I hesitated. I tried to keep her from getting you. If I'd just shot her sooner... It's okay. I don't blame you. She's really gone. this way. She was suffering. And now it's over.
We've reached the Cartabula. Very good. Are you all right? Yeah. We're inside. That's what matters. are keeping the Bioform ships at bay, but they can't hold them off forever. I'm receiving tricorder transmissions from the away team. They're picking up our warp core resonant frequency within the Aphelion. They're bleeding us dry. But they're not just taking our power, they're routing it through the Cartabula. That's the Resolute's warp core resonant frequency. And these others? That frequency matches the Titan's warp core resonance. And these two are the Kimball and the Lowell. They're both Steamrunner class. Same engine platform. They're just tuned a little differently. I must be getting information from the bioforming, but this warning. It means that it's struggling with the power stacked up at close frequencies. The Cartabula can't handle the dissonance? Maybe. Armato away team, are you reading these Starfleet engine signatures? We are. And you need to see this. The Steam Runner class frequencies are causing problems for the Aphelion's energy source. Sending visuals now. They're vulnerable. We have to use this. Captain, I think we can use Judo again. Go on. Leverage the weight of their attack. If they want to drain our power, I say we give it to them. All of it. And we do it on our terms. We get all Starfleet ships to output maximum warp power at those problem frequencies. I think it'll force them to disengage. There is merit to the theory. But if we attempt this, it would preclude any other course of action. We don't have time for any other course of action. If this is going to succeed, we'll need all Starfleet ships to pitch in. We aren't alone anymore. We need to leverage that. I will create a high-energy static warp shell. We'll need the away team to guide us to the right frequency. We read you, Resolute. You're putting a lot of faith in us, Captain. That's a hell of a plan. I've got faith in you and the rest of this crew. Now let's give them hell. Yes, Captain. I found an ejector team for the Cartabula. So we can disengage it, just like we did with the Zeldi's warp cores. Yeah, but it'll only activate if this thing gets completely overloaded. So we gotta take it right up to the edge of destruction. We are increasing the warp core resonant frequency now. I've waited for. If that thing wants to take over, it's going to have to go through the both of us. And I'm not going to let that happen. You hear me? I can always count on you. You'll stand by me to the end. This isn't the end. Is something wrong? No, no, we're, we're fine. Do you see our output frequency changing? We do. What is the impact on the Aphelion systems? Hold on, I... Hold on, I can do better than this. I know it. Now that this plan's in action, I have more to work with. Inertial dampeners are failing! All warp power is still being drained to the Aphelion. So that part of the plan is working. Now, we need the rest of the battle group to join us. Open a channel to anyone left on our side. Opening a channel. This is the Resolute. 
We're sending instructions to all ships to output maximum warp power at the designated frequency. We believe this will disable the Aphelion. We don't know that. All we know is that it'll siphon off our energy much quicker. You're leading us to disaster. Are you out of your mind? That has given them exactly what they want. Our strength in Starfleet comes from our ability to work together, especially when everything is on the line. I can get behind that, Captain Rydek. We're adjusting the Titan's warp output to match the resolutes. I suggest the rest of you do the same. Adjusting our engines now. The cartabula. It's compensating. Counteracting our interference. But some of these other frequencies are causing spikes too. I'm gonna find a new target range for the resonant. Here. This one's hitting the hardest. If they all converge here, It'll provide the maximum disruption to the Cartabula. Got it. We want to overload this thing, push it to the brink, but not past it. You sure about this frequency? If we go too far, we won't just be destroying the Cartabula. We're going to take a lot more with us. I'm just doing what I always do. I'm an engineer, following the data. Good enough for me. Sending data to the Resolute. Data telemetry coming from the away team. We have a new target range. Sending new parameters to engineering. We are now running our core at 105% of recommended capacity. If we try to meet that frequency, we will generate a harmonic imbalance of our own and risk a warp core breach. I must warn you, these are precisely the engine conditions that Captain Solano's experiment brought about. A runaway reaction is a dangerous possibility right now. We can eject the warp core if it comes to that. If it doesn't work, we're dead anyway. So give me what you've got. Consequences be damned. Aye, aye, Captain. Overload here. It's at the breaking point. What's happening? We got a problem. It's not going to eject. We have to disengage the cartabula manually. We lit this fuse. We got to make sure it doesn't go off the wrong way. If we can pull hard enough on those levers, it'll dislodge this thing.
our story. And the Aphelion is shutting down. Returning warp reactor to nominal output levels. The Takan are running off reserve power now. I saw what you did, the sacrifice you made. Radiation levels are spiking. It's coming from the Cartabula. He must have damaged it. Didn't get it out before it fractured. Our work here is done. Let's get out of here. <coughs> to beam back to the Resolute. Our transporters won't cut through the interference. We can't lock on. We can't stay here. We're not getting away in that thing. There. Maybe I can use this to get us out of here. I don't know if it can get us back to the Resolute, but... We have to get away from here. Everybody on! Radiation's lower here. It's still too high for us to stay on this ship. This is good. But we can do better. <coughs> and soon, I hope. We gotta get all the way to the Resolute. ships, but you need to get a crippling shot on the Aphelion. A direct hit to its bridge will bring it down. I can take us real close, Captain. Skim the hull of that thing where it can't get a clear shot at us. Or... Or... I can weave us through the battle. And hope we don't get caught in the crossfire. We can't take much more damage. So you want us to go closer to that thing? Take us along the Aphelion's hull. Get us to the bridge as fast as you can. Aye, Captain. in position for a shot at the bridge. Photon torpedoes armed and ready. <coughs> Break off this attack, or I will be forced <coughs> to eradicate you. <coughs> the damaged Cartabula is continuing to release deadly amounts of radiation. Thankfully, it's still contained within the Aphelion. But we have comrades on that ship, and we are going to die in here I if we care. Do. We will never submit to your federation. We are taking our rightful place as rulers over this galaxy. So much for superior beings. You don't look so superior from here. Uh, I don't have to listen to this. We've crossed the eons to get here. By a salvo! Now the radiation is rising here, too. Targeting the Resolute? I can't let you do that. Get on. Damn it. I can't hold on to it. I have to make manual adjustments to enhance the signal pattern. From here. What do you mean? I'm not gonna make it out. No way. We're all leaving together. We've been through too much to split up now. We don't leave people behind. Got it? I don't have long to do this. I'm bioforming. It's happening, Nilly. 
I have to be the one to do it. If you send them, we'll be stuck here. Give in to me, and I will save us, not them. Stop it. <coughs> What's happening? It's an internal struggle, and he's losing. Not like this. It's the Takan. In my head, it's trying to keep me from sending you back. There has to be a way for you to... There isn't. The time is now. That won't work. I told you. This body is mine. Team has beamed back. We're in position and ready to fire, Captain. Target their bridge. Please, we uh, target the ship. Pummel it to space dust, like we did. Just fire. All decks secure. We have the bioformed on board, fully contained. The Starfleet ships under Takan control have signaled their surrender. Good work, Captain Rydick. Next time I need some backup, I'll know who to call. I trust you won't have a problem with that. Just say the word and we'll be there. I'm gonna hold you to that. Captain, we're being hailed. It's the Aphelion. On screen. <coughs> the radiation. We... <coughs> we won't last much longer in here. Please, we surrender. We need your help. Please, people support your ship. As your first officer, I have to remind you that they're still dangerous. And there are other Takan. On Hotari. On this very ship. But they've surrendered on the Aphelion. It's our duty to assist them now. This is the fate they've chosen. Leave them where they are. You can't do that. <coughs> we don't have much time. We submit. I don't know what else I can say. This is what separates us from them. The fact that we can make a gesture of peace even after all our conflict. Set up containment fields in the docking bay and beam the Takan there. Crew of the Aphelion, shut down all systems. 
lower your defenses and prepare to be transported. Thank you. My first order of business will be to help reestablish the Hotari government and resume peace talks, genuine talks, with the Elidians. And after that? Who knows? I know I don't want to be queen. There's so much good I could do with just a fraction of your medical technology if I could bring it to my people. But I also want to see what else is out there. Maybe there's even a place for me in Starfleet. It would be hard to stay on Hotari forever. Not with all there is to experience, to learn. You don't have to be the queen to lead your people. In fact, you don't need to have a queen at all. There are many different forms of governance. But one thing I know is that Hotari would be lucky to have you. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. But there are pressing matters we must attend to before any of that. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I'll see you again. Starfleet has granted me the privilege of conferring this upon you. Though I'm sure Captain Solano would rather have been the one offering this. You have acted dutifully and bravely through trying circumstances. I grant you the official rank of Captain. I believe a great many wonders lie ahead for you, Jara Rydek. There appears to be nothing that can stand in your way. Thank you, Ambassador Spock, for everything. It is you who stopped the spread of the Takan. I should be the one giving thanks. Victory. Peace. These things never come without a cost. For some, it requires putting aside centuries of enmity. For others, it takes facing complicated losses. To Carter. How do you say goodbye to someone who isn't really gone? I thought I knew how to leave the past behind, but uh, I've learned a thing or two. And for too many, they had to pay the ultimate price. In time, history may forget their sacrifices, but those of us who were there never will. Now, all hands honor the dead. Captain Solano used to say that nothing ever stays the same. Entropy. It's the nature of the universe. As such, the crew of a starship can never stay the same. But while Entropy says that order inevitably gives way to chaos, this crew has only grown stronger. More cohesive and coherent. Bound by our shared struggles. And working together, helping each other, we're able to do more than we'd ever imagined. 
there are some new faces on board. But in time, they'll come to share our bonds as well. Space, the final frontier. As we take our next steps into the unknown, the greatest insights that lie ahead are what we learn about each other. We might even surprise ourselves. And no matter what threats we may come upon or mysteries we face, we will not be shaken. We are stronger together. We are steadfast in our purpose. We are resolute.